Hi all, welcome to Zakai Java and Blu-ray Studio tutorial. Here I will show you how to create a simple Blu-ray menu without any images using the wizard. First of all you need to start the wizard. You can do this by pressing Ctrl plus N or the New Project button on the toolbar. Or selecting the drop-down menu next to the New Project button and select the Open Wizard. Now you need to specify the name of the project. This name will become the project's root folder and specify the path where the folder will be placed. Also, you can change the default language here, the image detection algorithm for the scenes, and the need to add the close pop-up command to the play movie commands. The scene detection algorithm is used to find the best image for the scene selection menu. The first two algorithms work fast, and the later gives the best result. But let all of the settings remain as they are. In this lesson, we will use the project type movie. Also, I recommend activating the button Show Help. It will show us help depending on the current screen. On this screen, you need to add your main movie video, audio and subtitle streams. All of them should be prepared in the appropriate format before use. You can add all of the streams together by selecting all streams in the file of type field. Thus, you can see that video added to the video list and audio is added to the audio list. If you need more than one video, a playlist, then you can edit here. To the left of the audio file name, you can see the text that will be used for the corresponding setting button to switch to this audio track. You can change this text and replace the track using double click. You can specify a list of the chapter's timing by loading it from an excellent file or by typing it directly. During the generation of the chapter's menu, images for all display marks will be created. If you don't have a list of chapters, you can click the Edit button and add chapters in the Scenes window. Here you can see the timeline and the play marks at the right. The last unchecked checkbox at the right means that it will not be added to the chapter selection menu. You can select any chapter by double-clicking it. Delete it or move it to the new location by pressing Alt-Insert. You can delete all play marks and then add them manually. First of all, I recommend you to generate images automatically. I click the Generate Bitmaps button and we see how the application looks for the best. It's over. Now look at the folder of generated images. All bitmaps for this wizard should be placed in the Chapters Images bitmaps folder. As you can see, most images look good. You can replace or delete and recreate some of them. But you should always use the same names. Now I want to show you how to make images manually. I double-click the corresponding scene and press Alt-Right and Alt-Left to select the best keyframe. As you can see, all images was generated with BMP extension. Therefore, if you want to override them, you must use the same file type. Now I will do the same with the second chapter. The third. The fifth looks like just I chose, but let I replace it too. There is one more important thing. I want the main menu, so I need a background video for the main menu. But if I don't have it, I can use a static image for the infinite slideshow. Let's create this image from the movie and save it. OK, everything is ready. Now I can close the window. On this page you can add bonus movies. Unlike to the page with the main movie, all the bonuses are separated playlists. Therefore, you specify scenes for each bonus separately. In this lesson we will go further without any bonuses. On this page you can select the type of the main menu, you can make a disk without the main menu, or you can create an empty main menu, which you plan to configure later. If you still need a menu, you can import it from PSD files in the appropriate format. The application supports both the native format and the formats of other offshoring applications. But in this video, we will look at the wizard for the menu generation, 
First of all, you need to specify a base preset, the place where the main menu will be placed, at the top, bottom or left. The other important thing is the text that will be used for the buttons. You can localize or change them. You can remove or add some of these buttons using these checkboxes. Here are the text for the captions of the settings submenu and for the button subtitles off. The only thing you need to generate a menu is to set the font. You must use open type fonts with true type outlines. In general, such fonts have the TTF extension. Here you can change the color and the size of the text of the buttons. The render text to image causes images to be created from the text during the disk compilation process. This is recommended because fonts displayed in different ways on different layers. The outline draws a contour around the text and is only available if you use render text to image. On this subpage, you can specify the type and color for the selection. We will use the default values. Also, you can set the current marker, a marker that highlights the current audio or subtitles track or the current chapter. As you can see, the outline for the current state is greater than for the selected and normal states, because it will be used as a marker. Here, you can change the size of the chapter images. If you want to remove black lines, you can do it visually. Here you can adjust the width and color of the frames for the normal and selected chapters. We will use the carousel menu as suggested by default. Such menus show the selection market always in the center of the chapter list. Here you can specify the number of the chapters per page. On this subpage you can customize the animations for different events and actions. You can change any animation. And don't forget to specify the background for the menu that we created in the Scenes window. The pop-up menu has the same types and settings. Let's choose left. Other settings remain unchanged. You can see here Return to the main menu button instead of Play button. The application notifies us that chapter images already exist because we created them in the Scenes window. Let's look at our menu in the simulation window. It seems that everything is okay, so let's export it for multiplexing.